Like I said, you know, in a couple months time, if this server isn't still around or being occupied, I'll start my own. I'll get some, you know, like I said, the devs aren't going to be anywhere near as good as like the dope ass devs on this server. But if it's something that I want to feel like doing and I want some friends to come on, I'll, I'd consider that. But I need to learn. I need to learn you bet on how to three? sustain it. And the only way to do that is to keep trying and running through cycles oh, and figuring good. out because like competitive rust cycles aren't going to be anywhere the same as as like you know welcome oh, to the best stream god. ever oh god oh box box there might be a 20 meow oh my dude no way right what's up dude i know this i know spinning is sinning i'm just you caught me at the at a moment you really caught me at a moment i I promise. I promise. I'm not. It's not what you think it is, chat. Listen, it's See, not what you so think it is. You're so quiet back there, Mio. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just meditating like a little bit. I feel like he's judging us, Mio. And no, no, no. I'm just analyzing Satan's wheel over here. The, si the spin of sin. The sin of spin. The sin of spinner. That's all I'm doing. Hey, Mio. Um... Hi, everybody. Father Seer here. I'm just talking about, you know, how do you sustain roleplay on Rust in a way that everybody can enjoy it? Because it's still a learning experience. Like, it's still being pioneered, I think, a little bit. So, you know... Blessed be the bloody. Blessed be the blood. Yo, uh, Box. Thank you very much. Thank you for the host, the raid, the roast. And dude, thank you for being an absolute, an absolute fucking grand time to interact with. Every time. Um, it's been great. It's been great meeting you. And I saw your tweet the other day about, uh, you know, you feeling existential about Rust RP. I feel the same I'll way. One, two, scratch. I feel the same way, but, you know, oh my God. that existential, that, you that really don't existentialism want to bet exists I'm telling you. in every, everything Shannon that I have played roleplay on. Because I've done GTO RP for so, years. Oh, I only put one scrap and down dude, I, a feel, bit I feel the same existential. I did holy. that for years and I almost weekly would feel that that feeling yeah. you'd have a week where you're like My balls. am i doing the right thing what the fuck is going on is this how role play is supposed to be and then you'd have a sunday where you log on and expect nothing but it was it would be the best day of role play you've had in two months and you're like what the fuck the unpredictability of role play is is like the scary thing about it. I think my alerts are messed up. They aren't working. Guys, thank you for the follows. I'm overwhelmed. Um, the support of this community has... <laughs> I have so many mothers. I have so many moms to fuck now. But, I, you know, I'm trying to figure out where I stand. And how do I want to do this, you know? Do I want to keep trying? Because I'm still enjoying it. Like, I think about when I came onto the server on Sunday. And I try not to overthink about it because you can't overthink it too much. But I came onto the server on Sunday and I was like, huh. This might be it. This might be it. And then Monday rolls around. And it was easily one of the most fun days that a lot of people had Miz came back you know fucking around it was great stay with it and while I wouldn't admit I wouldn't admit I, I will admit that it wasn't really role play based it was more like RP PVP it wasn't sweaty PVP it was like RP PVP with good terms 
Um, you know, still is a lot of fun. And I think there, here's the thing. I think there's always a solution. There's always a way to fix RP or the state of RP on a server. It's just the solution is not always apparent and not everybody knows how to do it. Sometimes the solution is unexplored. And it happens all the time, you know, like on NoPixel. Sometimes RP is just dead for, it's dry for like two months. And then something happens. And all it takes is one person. Sometimes it's a big streamer that comes in. And then everybody suddenly puts on their A game. And RP suddenly starts happening again. So if you think about it, it's the, cap the ability to always make good RP, it exists all the time. You just need people to bring it. You need people to bring their A-game. But when you burn out, which is what we've all done, and I never, I didn't want to admit it, but dude, I was doing like 13, 14 hour days back to back, and I wasn't even being one of those 24 hour people. But, uh, you know, how do you figure out what's next? That's the, that's the fun of it, right? It's uncharted Look territory. Red. It's uncharted territory, chat. Um, getting fucked. <laughs> that's what happens when you gamble, because you know it's a product of sin. You're actually getting fucked by the devil. Remind, remember that. Keep that in mind. Blue, purple, red. What? It's very true. Always red. Always gamble red. Why? Because blood. The RP in Rust could use some more structure in terms of scheduling events and adding people so everyone can be more in loop and rest in between. An issue with the bigger events is noise and chat overload with everyone talking over each other so finding ways to mitigate that too. Yeah. If I were to say some solutions 